What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Down to Earth with Christian Harloff. This is our daily UAP news channel where we give you the latest news happening around the UAP phenomenon. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Be part of it. Be part of the conversation. If you want to see the longer form show, we do a show every Tuesday, which is UAP Tuesdays. It's on my other channel. You can see the full playlist on this channel and subscribe over there. Okay. So yesterday we did a story. There's doing. There, there's more inquiries on getting this. Um, a lot of different things, man. A, a new hearing. There is uh, the, the the UAP caucus is trying to write to the um, Speaker of the House to try to get more of these committees approved. And there's more and more and more that they're trying to do since the Arrow report came out. There's more people over on the Arrow side that are now combating what Sean Kirkpatrick said. And there's other people who believe that he really believes some of the stuff that he's saying, but there's just so much going against it that it's like, hey, Sean, there's just so much more evidence of what people are telling Congress. So there's this is an interview that happened with Tim Burchett, who is really leading, um, has been leading Congress and trying to get transparency. So here's an interview that he did with News Nation today that I wanted to play. Here you go. You are on the UAP front. Obviously, there's a push now to get a, a committee formed about this. We had your, your colleague, uh, Congressman Eric Burleson, on the show the other day, and he said this. Watch. They weren't transparent to us in a in a skiff setting, so they they could have brought forward evidence. They could have explained what these what these special access programs actually do, but they but they are not willing to do that with Congress. He argued essentially that the Pentagon uh, has not been forthright with its report that it released last week that essentially said nothing to see here on UAPs. Congressman, do you feel that the Pentagon is lying? Yeah, they're lying. They. Um Look, since 1947, they've told us these things don't exist, and yet they spend tens of millions of dollars on these things, on studying something, yet they won't release the reports. They're redacted. They look like somebody shot them with a 12-gauge shotgun. Look, I'm, I'm, and there's there's the, the famous um, uh, Tic Tac videos that were filmed by, by some very brave pilots, American pilots, uh, military pilots. Then they say that that does not exist. Look, I'm not about, I don't, you know, I don't care about the flying saucers, the little green men. I've got my own opinion about that. I just want transparency. Why are we spending tens of millions of dollars on these things? And why do we trust a Pentagon that has failed every audit, that has, um, has lost over a half a trillion dollars in assets, allegedly? And then how do we punish them this last NDAA, a, a bipartisan bill? We gave them $20 billion new dollars. They're an arrogant bunch. They lie. It's about money. It's about power. It's all the things that run Washington. And, and we know it. Over half the American public, public believes there's something else out there. And honestly, do you think we're the best that God can do? And if UFOs were to come, I guarantee they wouldn't come to Washington, D.C., because there is obviously no intelligent life down there. <laughs> Congressman, I'll leave it there. Congressman Tim Burchett. Burchett's telling jokes. Um, you got to love Burchett. So with what he's saying as far as this is the thing. Burchett is fighting the fight, and he goes on as many shows as he can. He does repeat a lot of the same things that he says. He always, you can, you know, that he's going to say, um, "They're spending the money on this." There, I don't. It's not about little green men. It's about finding out where the money is. Uh, he, he'll repeat a lot of the stuff that is on his sheets, and that's fine because he needs to get the point across. So he's repeating it, repeating it, repeating it. But it doesn't take away from the fact that it's about transparency. And what he did do was he straight out. Like a few people have been doing this. Ross Colhart just had on. Danny Sheehan and asked him straight out, is Sean Kirkpatrick lying? And he said, yes. Um, they just asked him, Burchett, is the Pentagon lying? And without hesitation, he said, yes, they're lying. So this is a full on fist up fight here. Um, now, the question is, as you see it, and there's a lot, of, and even if you look at some of the uh, people who are, uh, d let's see, um, d debunkers or skeptics, they're saying, okay, put up or shut up. You keep saying that you're going to do this, release the names, do these things. And I think that we're getting to that point where you got to make the next move because Burchett's saying it, they want transparency. They got to figure out what is going on in general between uh, the lines here. And that is the ultimate question that we've been asking on this show and, and everybody's been asking, what's the next step? So 
I asked you guys if you're watching this, do you think that the Pentagon is lying with that the Arrow report? If you've stumbled, stumbled upon this and you're like, I don't know what the hell's going on with this topic. I have no clue. I don't know if they're lying. Why would they be lying? They said that it does the stuff that doesn't exist. There's no reverse engineering program, then it doesn't exist. If that is the case and you believe that, I ask you the follow-up question is why is Congress so convinced that they are lying? What's the end game for it? I don't know. You tell me. Put your comments in there. Let me know. As I said before, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new to it. Thanks for being part of it. We'll see you here again tomorrow.